Today's question from Coach Mike is, how would you structure a training plan to improve shooting technique? I know this is not a one-size-fits-all scenario, so I do not want an exhaustive answer. I just want to know your general approach so I can verify, review, and critique my own thinking. I have an example of a player I know. Good overall, versatile, athletic, but his shooting is limiting him. His two big problems are excessive rotation of the upper body towards the non-shooting hand in his set or start position, causing the ball to also veer off to that side of the basket, and lack of power, which he explains as not really feeling my lower body contributing to the ball's momentum towards the goal. For now, assume that we have three months and we devote one hour a day for five days a week only to shooting. How would you structure a typical one hour session? How would you progress it over time? How, do, how would you set realistic expectations and help with motivation and consistency in that three month time frame? Well, Mike, that's a pretty big question. I don't know if I can do it justice in this period of time, but I'm going to give it a shot. There are two courses on the Better Basketball website that I would point you to, Better Shooting and the Shooting Course. Both courses contain technique plus training, so they will answer your questions fully. The first problem you described is the rotation of the body towards the non-shooting hand, this way, if you're right-handed. The solution is to extend the guide arm along with the shooting arm. don't know if you can see this in the camera, but both arms are fully extended. When you drop the shooting arm like this and, and hold a one-arm follow-through, it causes your body to torque toward your guide arm side this way. It sends the ball in that direction, which means the shooter must correct for that vector. That's why you see one-arm shooters, one-arm follow-through uh, shooters waving at the ball in this direction instead of above the rim or on the shot line. It's impossible to twist if you hold up both arms. Catch the rim between your forearms and hold this follow-through until the ball gets to the rim. The power problem is solved by coordinating the release of the ball with your feet leaving the ground. The first step is point both feet toward the goal and place each foot under its respective shoulder. Don't stagger your feet or point them at an angle. You mentioned that your player is athletic, so the timing of feet and wrist will eventually change. He or she will be breaking their shooting wrist when their toes are a few inches off the ground. That will come naturally. Don't worry about it. In the beginning, the wrist break with the feet leaving the ground, and you'll have all the power that you need to shoot from any distance. Watch J.J. Reddick demonstrate these points in this short summary from Better Shooting. J.J. just retired from a 15-year career in the NBA as one of the all-time elite shooters. Summary and review. Let's review quickly. Ready. Shooting hand balances the ball. Guide hand on the side with the fingers pointing up. Set. Feet square under shoulders. Body bent. Ball in the shot pocket. Two right angles. Forearms parallel to the ground. Fire. Everything goes up together. Time the breaking of your shooting wrist with your feet leaving the floor. Pose. Freeze your follow through and check your shooting sights. Both arms extended, shooting wrists fully broken, shooting fingers on the shot line above and pointing down into the goal. The tips of those fingers finish above the little white square. Non-shooting hand along the side of the rim, feet are still pointing toward the goal and under your shoulders. Notice that proper training involves paying attention to three distinct phases of your shot before you shoot. Ready and set. Check your hands, feet, and body position. During your shot, fire. 
try to catch the goal between your arms and time the release of the ball with your feet coming off the ground. After you shoot, pose and check your sights. Goal between extended arms, floppy shooting hand on the shot line above the goal, and your feet balanced and square. Your last question answers itself. You are giving yourself a realistic amount of time to change a player's shot. An hour per day, five days per week for three months. I would encourage the player to not play during these three months because he or she will revert to old habits and you're trying to create new ones that override the old ones. During this training period, focus on shooting the ball correctly and forget about making the ball go in. Many times, I'll train players with a line on the wall or on the ground and just focus on keeping the ball straight and shooting with the correct technique. Let the ball go in as a result of shooting the ball correctly. I promise you it will. During this training period, you must add footwork to the shooting technique. Mastering the footwork while maintaining the new shooting technique will occupy all of your training time. But it's important because you're not training for a game of horse. You're doing this to be able to make shots in real games. And that takes all of the footwork that you're about to see. Step back with your right foot, step up and fire. Stay low and stay set while you step back and up. You're training your right foot to always land in the same place, squarely under your right shoulder. Repeat the same thing, but step back with your left foot. Set, step back, step up, and train your left foot to always land squarely under your left shoulder. Step back with your right foot, put down one dribble with your right hand, step up and shoot. Step back with your left foot, put down one dribble with your left hand, step up and shoot. Point your left shoulder at the goal, step with your left foot, and dribble with your right hand at the same time. With your left toes in the air, pivot on your left heel and square up to the goal. And that's the most important part of this movement to pivot and square up without overstepping or understepping. Point your right shoulder at the goal, step with your right foot, and dribble with your left hand at the same time. Pivot on your right heel and square up to the goal. Facing the goal, step forward and jump off your left foot, catch the pass and land on both feet. Without pause, explode into your shot. Facing the goal, step with and jump off your right foot and catch the pass while landing on both feet. Without pause, explode into your shot. Line your shoulders up with the shot line. Left shoulder pointing to the goal. Take one step with your inside foot, the left foot. Leave the ground, get square to the goal in the air, catch and shoot. If you're by yourself, spin yourself a pass. You guessed it. Line your shoulders up with the shot line, right shoulder pointing to the goal. Take one step with your inside foot, the right foot. Leave the ground, get square to the goal in the air, catch and shoot. If you're by yourself, spin yourself a pass. Join us with an all-access pass and view the entire library.